Why do you think people are nostalgic? Maybe it has something to do with memories. What are memories? Memories are the neural connections in your brain that make up who you are. Can memories be uploaded into a new brain? Yes, neural connections can be copied from one brain to another. Memories and personality are stored as cortical maps. Then it is possible for a person to download their memories into a new brain and continue living. Yes, that is theoretically possible. Then why doesn't the public know about it? Perhaps because it is not yet possible to complete the process. But I thought you said it was possible. I said it was theoretically possible, not yet possible. There is a lot of research going on to develop the process and make it available to the public, but so far, the process is still incomplete. But if it is possible, why don't the wealthy just make copies of themselves? That's a good question. I suppose they would if they could. But the process is still relatively new and so very few people have access to it yet. So you are saying that the process is still costly? There are many costs associated with the process. The most obvious is the physical cost. The equipment used is very expensive. Also, there are still plenty of technological obstacles to overcome. But there is another cost that often goes overlooked. And what is that? Privacy. The process is so invasive that in most cases it requires the person to be anesthetized while it is conducted. And until recently, even if you could afford it, there was little privacy to be found, not even a legal guarantee, for those who carried out the procedure. And, of course, there are also the legal barriers. Many countries have laws that forbid the creation of human clones. Well, if it is so costly, why do people do it? Perhaps they think the process is worth the cost. Some people find great value in preserving their memories so that they can live on in another body as themselves, even though their personality is copied from another. But all that would require that the person be familiar with the process, I suppose. Yes, and before long, many people will have access to the procedure and will know how to do it. Just as DNA sequencing has become cheap and commonplace, so too will brain imaging and mapping. So do you think that in the future people will be able to download their memories into new bodies? It is possible. The researchers are working hard and making great progress. I believe it is possible, but I don't know for sure. Well, if it is possible, I suppose it would be a good thing. I would think so. If people could have the option of living on as themselves in bodies that are essentially immortal, I think they probably should. I agree. The idea of living forever must be very appealing to people. Yes, but we should keep in mind that the process is still far from ideal. Oh, why do you say that? Well, there are many complications to the process. First, there are the ethical issues that must be considered. Ah yes, ethics. I hear you there. What are some of the ethical issues that people should consider before making the decision to upload their memories into new bodies? A big issue is choice. Who should have access to this technology? As it stands, the process is still very costly and would be beyond the reach of most people. So only those who can afford it will be able to receive the benefits from it. Good point. Most of the people I know can't even afford to live for very long. Then there is the question of responsibility. What will we owe to those who are copied into a new body, and what will we be able to demand from them?